نحمده و نصالی علی رسول الكریم اما بعد بسم الله Let's go through a summary of Surah Mutahina Surah Mutahina It's a Madani Surah 13 Ayat and 2 Rukud It begins with the prohibition for Muslims to maintain close friendships with combatant disbelievers يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تتخذوا عدوي وعدوكم أولياء تلقون إليهم بالمودة وقد كفروا بما جاءكم من الحق We talked about عدوي and عدوكم that is stress on my enemy and your enemy is to make sure that Muslims understood it is not only in the religious matters but also in the worldly matters to take disbelievers as their enemies and not to be friends with them. There is a deep desire in disbelievers to have Muslims lose their faith and join them in disbelief. As Allah says, يَتْقَفُوكُمْ يَكُونُ لَكُمْ أَعْدَاءً وَيَبْسُطُوا إِلَيْكُمْ أَيْدِيَهُمْ أَلْسِنَتَهُمْ بِالسُّوءُ وَوَدُّوا لَوْ تَكْفُرُونَ Following a righteous person is recommended, but not in matters where they have erred. Like we know about Ibrahim alayhi salam, that his life is an example for us, except the situation where he had prayed for istighfar, uh, for forgiveness of his father who was a disbeliever. قَدْ كَانَتْ لَكُمْ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ فِي إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَالَّذِينَ مَعَهُ Towards the end, إِلَّا قَوْلَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ لِأَبِيهِ لَا اسْتَغْفِرَنَّ لَكَ Allah has the ultimate power to change hearts such that staunch enemies can become best friends. And this was manifested in particular after the conquest of Mecca where many many groups of disbelievers accepted Islam in a very short time and this removed the, the tension in relationships that existed among many family members because some of the family members were disbelievers and others had accepted Islam. Kindness and courtesy is permissible with non-combatant disbelievers. And allegiance is forbidden with disbelievers who fight against your religion. We also learn about the invalidation of marriage with uh, disbeliever men. فَإِنْ عَلِمْتُمُوهُنَّ مُؤْمِنَاتٍ فَلَا تَرْجِعُوهُنَّ إِلَى الْكُفَّارِ لَا هُنَّ حِلٌّ لَهُمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحِلُّونَ لَهُمْ And then there's prohibition to marry polytheist women. وَلَا تُمْسِكُوا بِعِصَمِ الْكَوَافِرِ وَاسْأَلُوا مَا أَنْفَقْتُمْ وَلْيَسْأَلُوا مَا أَنْفَقُوا ذَلِكُمْ حُكْمُ اللَّهِ There's validity in taking allegiance to a Muslim leader. And then there, it's obligatory for Muslims to fulfill that allegiance, that oath. Ya ayyuhan nabiyyu, idha jaaka al-mu'minatu yubayi'anaka, and fabayi'unna wa astaghfir lahunna Allah, inna Allah ghafur rahim. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ordering Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to take the oath and accept the oath and make dua of istighfar for them. And finally, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not shake hands with women while taking oaths. As it comes in the revise of Nisai, Inni da usafihun nisa. Rabbana taqabal minna inna kanta sami'u alim. Wa tuwalayna inna kanta tawabu rahim.